we have access to the user information through socket. Whenever a user connects or disconnects, instead of console logging the number of users, we can actually um, transfer some more information and then display it as well. And what we're going to do is just display that a user has connected in the chat. So what we have here is we have um, io.emit user account. And instead of the user account, we're just going to emit an event called user in here. And um, hang on. There we go. And what we want to send across here is an object. And we want to send a few things across. And what they want us to send is we want to send a field called the name, which contains the user's name. So I'll put name. And remember that the user is available in socket.request.user. So we'll do socket.request.user. And in our authentication, we can see that um, we said the name in the name field right here. So back in server.js, we can just do name like this. We also want to send the number of users. So we'll send that as current users. And remember that the number of users is already stored in a variable called current users. So we just have to put that in like this. And the final thing that we want to send across is um, a connected. And connected is basically a Boolean, which is true if they're connected or false if they're disconnected. So when a connection is made, it will send it will emit an event called user. And io.emit means it will send to all clients. And it will say name and then the name of the connect the user that connected and um, the number of connected users and the fact that they'd made a connection and not a disconnection and we're going to do something similar for um, disconnecting so after we decrement the user count we're going to send out the user their name um, the number of users and instead of connected being true this time connected is going to be false like this now the next thing to do is um, when the client picks this up we want to make sure that we display which user has connected here and if we go into um, public and then client.js, um, they have some jQuery logic right here, which we can use as well. So what we want to do is we want to create an event here called user. So we can get rid of this user account and we can say socket.on and it's a user event. So we're going to listen for the user event that the server sends out. And inside this, we'll have this data, which is the object containing the name, current users, and the connected Boolean. And I'm just going to copy and paste this jQuery logic, and then I'll explain what's happening here. So I'm just going to paste that into here. Oops. So um, I should probably tab all of this just to make it a bit cleaner. So what is happening here is that um, the number of use, so there's a jQuery selection made for this um, element with an ID called num users. And if we look in views and then pug and then chat, we can see that um, th there's a paragraph element with num users that currently has nothing in, which is why we can't see it. So it makes a jQuery selection for that. And then what it does is it sets the text of that to the number of users and then space and then users online. Then um, it creates a string called a message. And this message right now just contains a name of the user that was um, taken from the re from the um, what it received. And if the connected um, Boolean is true, which means it was a connection, we want to say that we want to add to the message that they joined the chat. And if, if it was false, which means it was a disconnection, we want to send right down that they have left the chat. And finally, what it does is in um, chat.pug again, we can see that we have a list, an unordered list right here called the messages. And what this does is it's, again, some jQuery, which is in the um, front, one of the front end course, libraries courses. And it basically appends that or it creates a new list element, list item element inside it. And it sets the, that to um, the message, which is what the user's name has joined or left in bold. So if I save all of that now and um, we go into here and then I refresh this page, um, we might have to sign in again, actually. Uh, yeah, we have to sign in again. If I log in now, we can see that my name has came up here and it says has joined the chat like this. So um, another thing I can do is I can just open up a new incognito window and I can try logging in again as a different user. Well, I can only log in as myself because I only have one GitHub account, but we'll see what happens. So if I click that again, and then I put in my username and password. If I can remember my password, that is. 
we can see that the number of users online has now become two and um, it says that I've joined the chart. And in here you can see that it says again that I've joined the chart. And if I were to go ahead and close this, which means disconnect here, it says that my name has left the chart and the number of users online has gone back down to one. So we basically just made a system where we can display the number of users and announce that users have entered or left the chart. So you can go ahead and just submit that and you can see all the tests have passed. So once again, I'm just going to walk through what um, actually happened here. So in server.js, when a user connects, it emits an event called the user. And inside it, it sends an object um, with the name containing their name, the number of connected users, and a variable specifying whether it was a connection or a disconnection. And when it's a disconnection, the variable is set to false. And then what happens is um, the client will pick up this uh, event name of user, and then it will um, set the text of the num users element to the number of users and then users online. Then it sets this message with the user's name and depending on the connected variable being true or false it will add has joined the chart or has left the chart. And finally um, it'll add that uh, message uh, string right here to a new list item element that will add to the messages list. And that's exactly what's happened here. So you can go ahead and submit that and then move on.